Hey, hey. happy wife. It, it's hot. Yeah, it's very warm. <laughs> I'm hot. <laughs> That's hot. Oh, the chickens are hot. Most of our chickens are now out here somewhere under nature's air conditioning, which is our big maple trees that are around 30 years old. So this is truly nature's air conditioning out here. So we've got moms and babies. We've got loose chickens. We've got one cage over there with one of these orange tags. What's that, that mean? That means that she gets opened in the morning. Why do we have tags, John? Uh, because John can't remember what's open and what's not. So, so we're about to open up some for the open up first some. time. Yep. So for the first time, everybody's left for the day. It's the afternoon, and so. Oh my gosh, it was a busy morning. So she is ready to be opened. We do have an opening date on her, but she has been very, um, very looking like she needs to take a take a run outside. So we'll yeah, her babies were a little so. bit older. Yeah, so this is butter. Hey, butter. Come on, butter. Come on. I, I'm not going without you, Mom. You go first, Mom. Oh, one's coming underneath her. <laughs> she is an excellent mom. This is not her first rodeo being a mom. No. But so she she has she has time. She can come out now if she wants. So this is so, her first steps I of pure freedom. I think she uh She's found, finding bugs, so she's telling them, yes, there's bugs. So she's making good mom sounds. She is teaching right now. Here they come, but you can hear her. These are good sounds. She is, she is telling them. She's about to attack this poor little girl coming next to her. Oh. Don't mess with a mama. Oh. Yep, she's finding little bugs. I can see her. Oh. She's telling them where the food is. So important life skills for a chicken to have is, I found food, come here and get it, which a rooster will say in later in life. She pecked against somebody because they're not supposed to be near her kids. Don't come near the kids. Get windy out here. All right. Let's go to another cage. Let's go to the other cage, which was mullet. Oh, mullet. Mullet needs to come out. So she is already known. with other moms and other people, other kids. Look at the, the feathers she has shed fighting already. So keep it under control, Mullet. Well, She's a little girl. A little tiny girl, but feisty. She is definitely feisty. So she'll you get ready, to come out. You ready to come out? We'll hang a little tag. Don't go in there. Come Don't there. go in there unless you're feeling brave. Babies right now. Oh, she's fighting somebody. Mm, she's fighting Sassy. 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 Just because you have authority does not mean you have authority over Mullet. Calling her babies. You gotta come out this way, babies. Good luck with that. There we go. Go with your kids. Go with your mom. Where's your mama? <laughs> she appears to have little, little, somewhat ISA children. Something she's missed for the last few weeks. Vigorous scratching. Calling the babies. too she is very mom so we had uh, we had someone come today and rent our processing barn yep so and it was a couple and their children um, and so they did really well and somebody is 
renting our plucker next week. We do rent our so we equipment. Do rent our equipment we're, out. We're authorized by, by the Ohio Department of Agriculture to do that. So if you need something like that, you can rent it. And we do have a video to watch, and you do get our supervision if you're afraid of doing something really crazy and stupid with yeah. knives. But um, we are teaching a class this coming Saturday at the Preble County Library. And how much it cost? It is absolutely free because we do it? a lot of free teaching. It is a kind of a, a drier class that we teach called strategic farm planning. Uh, but it is essentially how do I how do I get my customers? How do I run social media? How do I how do I do anything at the farm and still run the rest of my life? Because how do I transition from taking care of myself to selling to others? Because a lot of homesteaders, they are self-reliant, they raise animals for themselves, but then when you get overwhelmed with what you have, too many eggs, how do you get rid of all your excess eggs? What is your route? So, so we, we talk about planning, we talk about uh, marketing, we talk about quality, we talk about social media, and tips, successes, and mistakes we've made. So We want you to be <laughs> successful. Don't right, be, Carolyn? Don't there be, she goes. Don't make the mistakes we've made. So, so lots of moms and babies out here. Um, Where's your newest ones? Um, let's see. P3 is one of the new ones that's raisin. Right here? Oh. Right here. Yeah, the brown one. The one that says P3 on it? The one that says P3. Oh. Yep, that's raisin. Where's your babies? So, Where's your babies? Probably right there. Right there at the feed. So, yeah, she just got her babies on... May 31st, so she doesn't get released till June 28th, so quite a long time. Oh, but. All right. Everybody's doing great right now, so. We're gonna go home, go inside. Go inside, get, get, get some a, food. Get in a tub of ice. Get in a tub of ice, that sounds okay. great. Take an afternoon Saturday nap. What? Well, is you know. A, is that a thing? That is a thing. When you've worked hard all day, that is a thing. Have you worked so. hard? I have. I've been. I've been working hard today. Do there's de been. Do you deserve a slice of banana bread? I do deserve a slice of banana bread or something else. So, um, but. <laughs> All but, right. Yeah, so. Well, we know. will. We will see you soon on a homestead. Stay cool. Stay cool, everyone. <laughs>